Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. My love buds and love muffins is mama love and welcome back to my channel i'm just doing a little i got a little small snack for y'all who you know just got the munchies at night and it's real light and it's healthy and it's like a salad without the lettuce type of thing so yeah in this bowl you all i have tomatoes and french cucumbers and three avocados and then i have me some feta cheese and I have these pita chips that I got from the Mediterranean restaurant. And I have here the olive oil and vinegar dressing. And I'm gonna chop all of this up and I'm gonna put it into a bowl and it's gonna taste so good, y'all. Y'all gonna be like, oh my God, this is an awesome snack at night. And yeah, so there's nothing to it, but just chopping up some, some tomatoes. And I'm not, I already rinsed them off and everything. Got them all cleaned up and pretty. And now I'm chopping away at the tomatoes. My friend gave me this idea. She's like, Reba, do you know that cucumbers and tomatoes chopped up taste so good? I said, really? She said, yeah. She said, and they so filling. I said, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to try that. But me, I got to put my own little touch on it. She also said feta cheese, I forgot. She said the feta cheese tastes good. And um, you all want to see me chopping these up or I'm okay just talking to you all? Because I'm not doing nothing but chopping. I'm on a chopping board. Yeah, so she said that. And uh, I'm trying it. So I'm slicing up my tomatoes. I have four, t uh, no, yeah, four tomatoes, three cucumbers, three avocados. We're going to see how this turns out. I just know it's gonna be so good. Uh, we fell back up off our weight loss, of course. Stress does that. I will say and be honest that um, me and my kids, we are emotional eaters. And um, it's bad, it's a bad habit to try and break. But um, I'm seeking out counseling, me and Tina, um, we need counseling. Um, Terrell said he's fine. Uh, Terrell doesn't do too bad at all, really. Terrell's just not an emotional eater like that, like the girls are. Um, the girls in my family are emotional eaters. And uh, so we have a hard time, you know, um, sticking to something. We just love to eat. I mean, and it's not gluttony, by the way. Gluttony is just constantly eating big portions and big meals and then you end up like six or seven hundred pounds like on six hundred seven pounds like that's not it it's the times that we're eating it and what we're eating like i can go all day without eating anything and at six o'clock i'm be like oh what do i want to eat and i may go out to a restaurant of course which i always do i ain't gonna lie always talking about something i may go to a restaurant you know you go to the restaurant i'll be hitting the restaurant up um and um and so i have my meal whatever i have at the restaurant i order what i want and then um you know, it's like seven or eight o'clock at night or something like that. And um, I may have a, like a bag of peanuts or a, a bag of chips with a Diet Coke or something like that. That's what I eat, you know? And it's not, I don't um, sit and just indulge and pig out like that, I don't. And um, it's just the times that I'm eating it and um, it's the, um, what I'm eating. There's my tomatoes all chopped up, so pretty. And then next I'm going to use my bowl so I can go ahead and dump them over in there. Being that I already rinsed off my, my uh, veggies. So. Uh, probably I'll me, be the only one eating this. Well, Tina may. Terrell doesn't like stuff like this. So he probably won't be eating all this. But I'm going to be tearing these up, y'all. And I love my cucumbers. Cucumbers are good for you. And these are the, the French, I mean English ones um, I got at um, Kroger. And I'm gonna chop these up. Um, the avocados I'm just adding. 
Um, and uh, she didn't mention no avocados. I think she likes avocados. My friend, she doesn't like avocados. So I'm gonna slice this down the middle because I'm picturing it, how they be doing the meal preps. It be all cute and stuff, how they have them all sliced down the middle. It's the presentation for me <laughs> that makes you want um, to eat too because how many of y'all believe it's in your presentation how your food looks that makes it real tasty looking too you want it you know if you just have some regular tomatoes sitting in a bowl and um cucumbers like i had them you would be like i don't want that you know but when you get done doctoring them all up and making them look real pretty and spicy looking with with seasonings on them and you know you uh, it, it 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 you know gives a different effect, should I say? Oh, I sliced that so ugly and thin on that side. Oh, I didn't slice it even. Y'all, y'all should see how I'm cutting up this. Uh, of course, I got this camera on a tripod sitting still because both of them upstairs in their own world. I think they own that game. He in on his room on, and she in my room with the dog on game. And I'm down here with cucumbers. So I said, well, let me make a video with y'all. So that's what I'm doing. And yeah, almost done y'all. So I'm talking to y'all as y'all, as we go. Um, I was gonna put this video out tonight. This video will go out tomorrow. My son was like, for real, now you just got a video out. That's the purpose. You know what I'm saying? I think they said they like consistency. Yeah. It was like, Mama Love, I like your cooking videos. Well, every video ain't cooking, but, you know, I do different stuff. And this is something that is light, like a snack type of thing. This is a snack. I'm turning this into a snack. Because if you say it that way, it'll make, you know what I'm saying, you really, really want it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, well, they look good, you know? By the time I get done with it, it's gonna be so pretty. But I don't wanna over, I don't know what I'm doing. I think this looks so fine. See, that's so plain right now. But wait till I get done with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna be slicing up these avocados. I got them softened just the way I want them. I used to then like avocados just by the way they would, I judged them off the way they looked, I guess. I don't know. Like people judge us. <laughs> They just doesn't stop the way we look. <laughs> avocados are so easy to peel um, and cut. I like avocados. Avocados are so good. Y'all, with some salt and pepper, y'all don't know what y'all missing. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You don't know what you're missing. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel these. And then I'm going to chop away. Because it doesn't take long at all. I'm going to keep stopping. And so... Peeling them, just going around the avocado and I'm pulling it apart like so. And um, just going around and I'm peeling it, just peeling it right off. So, nothing too serious, you know, ain't nothing straining and all that type of thing. I was keeping all my um, bowls for my, um, you know, meal preps and things like that. But as you know, you know, you can only keep plastic for so long. You can only hold on to it. And um, so I tossed them. I'm just getting some more at Walmart or Sam's Club. It ain't that serious. So that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, I really should have been lost some weight. Um, I should have had this off. Um, but because I'm a person I say that because I love vegetables. I can eat vegetables every single day I love salads. I love stir fries and things like that. I love chicken. I, I love grilled chicken baked chicken, you know uh, And different uh, Types of you know fish like salmon and stuff like that. That's why I'm gonna go ahead and chop these Slice these in half. I don't want them to be too diced up. So Avocados may be a little bit too soft for uh, 
that salad. That's why I'm gonna slice them so very so very so cut that off of there. Sometimes I don't feel like digging out that pit pit ball. But yeah, you all, avocados is so good. And it's so good for you. It's a good fat. <laughs> something. It's a good fat. Chop around the pit. It's easy. I usually just pull it on up. Like I said, I don't feel like doing that. Huh, so you all, this is what I'm doing at 11 something at night. It beats up uh, frying a some wing dings, this honey. I'll fry me a 10 piece wing ding in a minute. I'm not gonna lie. Was doing it like that, but I didn't completely go back, you know, the same route that I was. Mm. I love avocado though. Mm. It tastes so good. I'm gonna put them over in the bowl. I'm sorry, not the mushy one. The solid. Mm. I never thought I would love avocados like that. Well, I do. And I'm gonna stir it. And I forgot to grab my big pork. So I have my knife. And I'm gonna stir it. With the knife. Now I'm gonna stir it with the knife for a reason. Huh? When I was little, that was a superstition. They say don't stir up nothing with a with a knife. You stirring up trouble and stuff like that. Sorry. And uh, so I'm stirring it up with a knife because I don't believe in that. Stirring up stuff with a knife. Well, I got popped so hard. <laughs> I stirred up something with a knife one day. And my mama backhand me in the face so hard. I said, what in the world? She said, what's wrong with you? You don't stir up nothing with a knife, girl. You're stirring up trouble. What? Take that slap back. Anyway, I'm gonna wash my hands right quick. Hold on. Okay, so now that I took and chopped them all up and got my fork, washed my hands because I had avocados all over. I'm taking, you know, just mix them around a little bit and I'm gonna add some garlic salt, you all. Some garlic salt, a little going across the top so I can mix it all in it. And I'm gonna add some black pepper. Pepper for the seasoning. Okay. And I'm gonna mix it real good, real quick so y'all can see. Avocados, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Oh my goodness. What I think was gonna set it off, y'all, is the fact that I'm going to use, uh, I usually use uh, Newman's pork, what was it? Oh, Newman's? Newman's um, olive oil and vinegar salad dressing, but Kroger's didn't have it. <coughs> That's that pepper. Kroger's didn't have it, so I'm using cans, olive oil, and vinegar, like I showed y'all already. I know I'm repetitive, I repeat myself. I'm gonna take and pour it all in this bowl, pour it, just wet the bowl, I don't think I'm gonna use the whole thing, but you know, just enough for the, the salad dressing to um, wet it real good, wet every little vegetable that's in here. And uh, you can use whatever salad dressing you want. You can use ranch, oh, you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use Thousands Island or something like that. I wouldn't use that. Hold on, I'm sorry, y'all keep moving. I wouldn't use Thousand Island, but, uh, French or whatever I guess you wanted to use. And now that I took and mixed that all in like that, um, I'm going to, oh, I lost the tomato, I mean the uh, cucumber, popped on the floor. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add feta cheese. Now, this is why I love Sam's Club so much, y'all. They got, oh, Stuff that's in there that's last you for days. I still got condiments 
uh, in the cabinet down there. I never run out of hot sauce, barbecue sauce, ranch dressing, um, salsa, um, spaghetti sauce, you name it, the condiments and stuff. And so I love this, this uh, feta cheese. Let me go ahead. Feta. feta better, y'all. Feta tastes better. Feta better. <laughs> take and put that in there across the top because I want to mix it around and I just want to now we don't want to drop that drown it with feta cheese you know just want to get it wet okay we want to get the feta wet so it can spread well and you can get the taste excuse me y'all give me some water hold on Also, when you want to drink your water, order you one of these. I ordered it from Hydro Mat, mate. Tina got hers off Amazon. But it's a gallon, and it helps you. It really does help you get your water down. You're supposed to be drinking a gallon of water a day. Y'all, you know, just look at me. Look. You never just quit trying. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now we got the Mediterranean, the, the pizza. I mean, a. Uh, Pita chips. I love these. I always have these in my patoot salad when I go to the Mediterranean restaurant. And um, they are so good, these pita chips, you all. I don't want to put too much, because like I said, I don't want to drown them. I probably should have crumbled a little bit. Crumbled. Okay. And now you have you a tomato, cucumber, and avocado, feta cheese, and pita type of salad and it really helps you all when you have the munchies at night and you want to munch on something I don't think that this could hurt you at all I think it's light it's a light snack whatever and um, that's how it looks see how pretty it is it's all seasoned well and I'm gonna take some I'm putting them on the And I'm going to try it. Because guess what? It's my first time. It's my first time trying it. So, I got me some tomatoes and cucumbers. And if I repeat myself one more time, y'all, say in the comments, we can start repeating yourself. But who would have thought that that would be so good. I don't, I don't care if nobody want no doggone tomatoes and cucumbers when they hungry. I can't wait to try it, especially that, that doggone avocado. Okay, so here we go. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is so good. Mmm. I can eat this all day, every day. Mmm. It's so satisfying. Well, that was just something light, you all. I wasn't that heavy. I just wanted to show you how, if you're at the munchies in the middle of the night, like me, and you're trying to eat right, and you're trying to knock the pig out on, uh, you know, like I said, go fry you a piece of fish, or two pieces of catfish, or something, or fry you a 10 piece wing ding dinner with some fries or, or you just can't help yourself you know you can come down here and take the tupperware top off this bowl and get you a bowl of this and it's so delicious y'all i hope that you all enjoyed this video uh it may be very boring and very bland but that's why i try to talk to y'all mm. add some lemons in your water too oh it really helps so yeah it's really no excuse not to lose weight um, um but like I said, when you're an emotional eater, I uh, have to find out the reason why. But um, counseling is in session. 
and um, I think that's gonna help me a lot. I think it's gonna help Tina a lot, but we do need counseling. We do need counseling. We need help. We need help. But, you know, that's one good thing about it. When you know you need help, at least when you recognize it, that's when you could be helped. When you say, you know what, I need help. And um, that's when you can be helped. It's only when, you know, you be like, ain't nothing wrong with me, I ain't got no problem. That's, that's, that's when it's serious, so, yeah. I'm going to sit here and snack on this and uh, hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night because I'm going to enjoy mine. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed with my avocado fingers. <laughs> <laughs>